What's up guys, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing the new 2022 NBA 2K ratings. Begin. Rudy Gobert, 88 overall. What has he done? Too high? I think it's a little too high. Little? He's, he's not an 84. He's not been. He's averaged 14, 13, and then a 1 assist on like he got he's, cooked in the playoffs. He got, uh, he let Terrence Mann score like 40 points. And nobody even heard of Terrence Mann. And then Rudy Gobert let him score Rudy Gobert, the defensive MVP, let him score 40, and Rudy Gobert is somehow still an 89 rated. Never made it past the second round of the playoffs. That's too high, man. He's not 89. No. He's not 89. Kemba Walker, he's also too high. 86 rated. He had a terrible stint with the Celtics. Terrible. He hasn't played. How can you give a guy an 86 when he hasn't played in the his whole stint? He played 43 games, but he gets 86 rated. He averaged 19 points, 4 assists, 4 rebounds. But he's 86 rated, shooting 42% from the field. All right. The most talked about player in the league right now. Benjamin Simmons. Ben Simmons is an 84 rated in NBA 2K22. And the dude averaged eight points in the playoffs. Eight points. And he's an 84 rated? What? Uh, let me throw to you this. It's too high. He shot 40. 40%. Sharpshooter in the playoffs from the free throw line. From the free throw line, 40%, averaged 8 points when his team needed him most when they were getting smoked by the Atlanta Hawks. He averaged 8 points. He yet, didn't play any defense. Yeah, he's Trail really cooked on him. And throughout that season, Ben Simmons averaged 14 points, 6 boards, 6 assists, but he's 84 rated. It's too high. When you when you average 8 points in the playoffs, you shouldn't even be. On terrible efficiency, uh, and he's not that good. <laughs> Jalen uh, Brown. 86 overall. I uh, I heavily disagree with this. I as a too buck, low. Too low. Should be. Oh. <laughs> Jalen Brown. He averaged 25 to six and three and a half on great defense. So yes, he should be higher than 86. And he shot very 25, well. 25, six and three. Shot 50 percent from the field, 40 percent from the three point line. I mean, people can make a case that Jalen Brown is better than Jason Tatum. I mean, if they had Jalen Brown, they would have been better, you know, seated for the playoffs. I don't say it lightly. Flame me in the comments if you want. Jalen Brown is better than Jason Tatum. Okay. Well, let's not go that far. But he's he's good. He's oh, good no. Player. He's better than Jason Tatum. And I fully agree with it. Jason Tatum cannot play defense like Jalen Brown can. And I stand by that. Whatever. Moving on. Bradley Beal, he's also too low. In my opinion, he disagrees. No, he's too high. He's too low. Too high. Listen, Bradley Beal, he's a scoring champion. He averaged 31 points a game. He's only an 89, but he averaged 31 points a game. He's a scoring champion. He's an all-star. Shot 90% from the free throw line. 48% from the field. But scoring champion. But he's no like his number one superstar. He's a number two on a championship team. Not that good in my opinion, but... um. Bradley Beal's not that good. He's good. He's not that good, though. He's okay. So <laughs> is Nicole Jokic. He's 95 rated. He's the MVP, so if MVP. you... Any smart person running the game of 2K as an MVP, you'd put, him, you'd put him at the, you'd put him at the a highest rating in the game because you got LeBron, Giannis, Steph, and Kevin Durant at 96. If Jokic is the MVP, then he should be higher than 96. But he's exactly. 95. He should simply be higher. He's the MVP. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's the MVP. He should be 97. Giannis should be higher. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys, and we'll see you later.